Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to Monster Hall Today. I'm Danny. I'm Cameron. I'm Audrey. I'm Malcolm. I'm Seth. Good morning, MHS. Happy Friday, and welcome to Monticello Today. The ASVAB test will be offered at MHS on Wednesday, February 18th at 8.55 a.m. in the Red Lab. The ASVAB provides you with career information for various civilian and military occupations and is an indicator for success in future endeavors, whether you choose to go to college, vocational school, or a military career. Sign up with Mrs. Neal in the College and Career Center by Wednesday, February 11th. MHS is put, working on putting together an elective next year for current guitarists and any students interested in learning how to play guitar. Let's take a look. That's all the announcements today. Now here's some important information about talent show auditions, followed by Cam with your sports report, and then it's turn it time. Have a great weekend, everyone. Hey Monticello, I'm just here to tell you guys it's the last day to turn your um, talent show forms in. So if you have your forms, make sure you turn them in. The prizes are for Mincers, The Market, and Ragged Mountain, and there might be more. So make sure you turn them in today. Good morning Mustangs, welcome to the Sports Report. The men's tennis team will have conditioning practices starting on Monday, the 9th of February, 2015. The conditioning class will be from 4 to 5 on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Meet at the cafeteria for practice at 4 p.m. On Tuesday, the 10th, uh, the tennis team will have sign-ups from 11 to 1 in the cafeteria. That, that will be the perfect time to meet your two new coaches, uh, Coach Baker and Coach Williams. If you have any concerns, Coach Williams can be reached in G202A. Last night, Spotswood defeated both the boys and girls basketball teams. Tonight, the basketball squads look to bounce back as they take on crosstown rival Charlottesville High School at 730. The girls team head to CHS while the boys play here at home. Um, and the, the theme tonight is classy, so come on out. Last, probably the last opportunity for the student section of the year. Come on out here in your classy attire, and root for the boys. All right, see you tonight. It's turn the time, doctor turn the time. Fridays go great when you watch turn the time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. It's turn the time, doctor turn the time. Fridays go great when you watch turn the time. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Dr. Turner, MHS, let's go. Hey, what's up, Monticello? This is Dr. Turner. Hey, listen, welcome to Turner Time. Just, uh, just a couple things. Uh, one is I want to just say again thank you to all the students and staff for uh, their patience during the, um, uh, the threat that was made against the building yesterday. You know, I, I, I want to share something uh, with you all. I, I know that it is annoying uh, and it's... Um, it, it, it really just gets next 
to uh, a lot of us in terms of how ridiculous things like uh, these can be. But I, I want you to know that you have, you're not doing anything wrong. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the school. You, you cannot predict who's going to be crazy. Um, individuals who, who do stupid things like that, they, they, they have some mental issues. Um, and that's not normal behavior. And in, in the end, uh, there's nothing that you can do to make someone not do that, okay? Uh, in fact, I think it's a good life lesson because many times in your life, you will have things happen and you can't control that it actually happened. What you can control is what you do next, okay? So, so we, we don't want those things to, to happen. We don't have a lot of control over them happening, but, but when they do, or if they do, uh, then we're gonna always try to do the right thing uh, in order to, uh, to, to make things better for us here at that particular moment in time and, and going forward into the future. Uh, so again, I just want to say that I absolutely appreciate the fact that everyone did what they were supposed to do. I went into a couple of classrooms. There were, there were teachers still teaching, uh, children still learning, and, 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 and you all handled the situation with a lot of class and uh, a lot of finesse. So again, that person who tried to uh, spoil our day, it, it, didn't, it didn't work, um, and, and, we, and we kept it moving, okay? So the other thing is, last week I, I forgot to talk about the Eagle Award winner and the uh, Student of the Week. So I wanted to share with you all that the Eagle Award winner is Alyssa Shields, and um, she's done a fine job here uh, at the high school, and, and, and she was recognized as the Eagle Award winner, and the Student of the Month is Kendall Swingler. So, Congratulations, and uh, I would love for you all to come up to the main office to pick up your prize. Again, uh, you heard earlier about the games this evening. Uh, if, if you can get to either game, it would be great to support either team. Um, we're, we're, we're coming down to the wire here to close, uh, really, of the regular basketball season. So uh, it would be great to see, see uh, students and staff at uh, either one of the events. All right. Hey, that's it for me. I want you to have a great day and a wonderful weekend and I will see you back here on Monday. Talk to you later.